So welcome to another episode of Motor Rocks. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is itong kapatid ko mag apply ng SP. So we're going to an LTO extension office doon sa Fel Cristoril kasi kokonti lang ang tao doon. So we're going to show you the step by step procedures how to get your uh, student permit. This applies to both those who want to ride a motorcycle and those who want to drive a car or a truck, whatever. So stay tuned. congested as the main office or the regional office of uh, uh, Kipo Bolivar. So I really suggest that you have, if you know that there's a satellite office uh, sa, sa inyo, I really suggest uh, if you are applying for a uh, student permit or actually yung renewal of the uh, renewal of your driver's license, you go to your uh, LTO satellite offices and so as not to congest the regional office with a lot of applicants who are renewing their, business, renewing their driver's license and uh, the student permits. So at least um, in, in my experience, nung nag ako for my driver's license, kung sa mismo main office, so that's where you're going to apply for your uh, driver's license. Kung talaga sa regional offices, ang dami, dami nag apply ng student permit and uh, renewing their driver's license. When in fact, if you, if you could take a look at this place over here, makunti lang talaga tao. So, I really suggest you go to your satellite offices for both of these transactions. Number one, for the application of your student permits and number two is for the renewal of your driver's license. So things have changed uh, in the medical piece for the application of your driver's license and student permit. So uh, first step is to get to the uh, Medical evaluation form from Window One of the office that uh, you're applying for. Um, the next one is go to kung saan nagpapa kuwasa na ng BP and whatnot. There will be a certain area in within the compound of the LDO office or the clinic that you're going to. Ensure na uh, accredited yung clinic na yun for doing business with the LDO, of course. Uh, next up is after they, they get your BP, your high, your weight, um, ask you a few questions. Uh, next part is magbayad ka for, for your uh, medical and then they will give you a printout of uh, your medical certificate which is, the, 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 the thing has changed. Since that day, when I applied for a student permit and for my um, driver's license, it was all handwritten. 
So I guess they got away with that and I think they saw something there. So they have changed it and they have modernized and computerized the process. So, so that's the first step. You need to ensure that you get your medical uh, done. And after that, uh, you uh, after you get your printout of the computerized medical, uh, the officer in charge of the day, along with the other requirements such as your uh, original and original and photocopy of the birth certificate, and uh, same as well the original and the photocopy of your valid ID. Sent it to the officer in charge for the day, and they will once okay na siya, okay naman, wala naman problema yung mga requirements. You, they will give you a form that you need to fill out. That's the application form for the driver's license or the speed permit. And once that's done, uh, they will also give you a priority number. You have to submit it to the other windows and just wait for your number to be called. That simple, that easy, really quick. And of course, since you want mga tao dito, eh, mabilis na yung proseso. So let's. I will just have to wait for uh, the next steps ng kapatid ko uh, or the application of this driver's student permit. Ito na, tapos na kami sa application na student permit na kapatid ko. So, of course, you need to be ready when you're coming here. So, uh, I'm gonna post the requirements for, uh, for your uh, student permit right here. So, so, once you have your requirements, the first step is to go to the medical para makuha mo yung digital na medical certificate mo and the printout. Uh, next up is pakita mo lahat ng requirements mo doon sa evaluator. Um, usually, it's the officer in charge for the day. Uh, they will give you a form that you need to fill out under the priority number. And then, uh, once that's done, uh, just wait for your number to be called. Uh, once your number is called, go to window 1. So, that's the first step. And then, uh, next up will be uh, wait for your name to be called again for window 2. That's your photo and signature. So you just need to follow the instructions of uh, uh, the person in charge for window 2 where they will ask you to sign uh, or put your signature on the digitizer and after that next step is wait for your, num so wait for your name to be called window 3 uh, that will be for the payment of uh, the, the fees for uh, the student permit and uh, the cost of the student permit is right over here. So, uh, next up will be we'll just wait for uh, your name to be called again. So, just wait and wait and wait. Uh, that's window 4. We're in. It's um, not even window 4, right? Eh? Verification. Ah, there you go. So, so window 4. Um, Wait for your number to be uh, your name. Just wait for your name to be called uh, for window four. That will be your biometrics. So uh, your fingerprints will be taken. And uh, again, wait for your name to be called for the last uh, but not the least step, which is for the releasing of your student permit. So that's it. That these are the steps for you to uh, take when you're applying for a student permit. So I hope this uh, has helped you a lot. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If not, thumbs down is okay. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Motor Rocks. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you don't miss on any future videos for Super Motor Rocks. And uh, it's lunchtime. Kakain muna kami ng kapatid ko. So this has been Rocket Motor Rocks. Thank you so much for watching. As always, ride safe.